It can be hard to picture what is out there beyond what we know. But beyond our cloudy blue skies and rolling oceans lies the whole universe, planets and galaxies with unusual activity around them, with mysterious rays flying by and surely some other life forms living lives just as fulfilled as our own. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent space discoveries. A dozen ultra-high-energy particle accelerators discovered in the Milky Way. As we move further and further into the 21st century, once modern and cutting-edge questions have become 100-year-old puzzles we are yet to unravel. So, it goes without saying how exciting it is when we manage to inch our way closer to some sort of scientific revelation. In 1912, we uncovered cosmic rays. We know that they come from nearly every direction in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Cosmic rays are charged particles with atomic nuclei that can reach speeds approaching the speed of light as they move through space. While we have uncovered a fair bit about these mysterious rays, we are yet to find out how we get to these sky-high speeds in the first place. Some scientists have suggested that cosmic rays begin their space travels as they are propelled away from stars that faded during supernova explosions. Astrophysicist Siming Lu, who works at the Southwest Zhao Tong University in Chengdu, explained that when this occurs, the sheer amount of energy these stars release in just two months matches that which has been released throughout the entire lifespan of the star before that point. Lu continued, explaining that this has been a somewhat dominant theory, but does not account for all cosmic rays. Furthermore, observatories have found ultra-high energy cosmic rays that have a greater amount of energy than what can be provided in an explosion of this kind. Complicating this mystery further is the interaction of these charged cosmic rays with magnetic fields. Magnetic fields, which are plenty common within our galaxy, deflect the rays as they approach. Unfortunately for our researchers, this means that a cosmic ray as seen on Earth cannot be traced backwards to the origin of the ray. One aspect of these cosmic rays that can give scientists a helping hand, however, is the gamma rays produced as cosmic rays enter the gases around them. Gamma rays are not charged, meaning they are not disrupted by magnetic fields and can be traced backwards in a straight line to where they began. This gives Lu and his colleagues an opportunity to trace back potential sources of cosmic rays. The team used China's Large High Altitude Air Shower Observatory to study the cosmic rays indirectly via their gamma ray light. Following a series of observations, the team located 12 potential sources, named Pevatrons, over our galaxy. Each one of these alone is at least 100 times more powerful than the largest particle accelerator we have on Earth. With the equipment available, we are not at a point where we can begin to locate the Pevatron natural particle accelerators thousands of light years away, so it is not conclusive where or what the precise cause is exactly. Nonetheless, this is groundbreaking research that will continue to bring us closer one step at a time to answering a question that has been on many a mind for over a century. Dr. Gordon Gallup says alien life may be too scared of dangerous humans. The idea that we are not alone in the universe has paved the way for some of the best science fiction films and fueled many conspiracy theories. The odds are that there must be life out there, perhaps more advanced than us. So, if that is the case, why haven't these aliens reached out? Dr. Gordon Gallup, a biopsychologist, has suggested that the existence of alien life is not implausible, but that the reason we have not heard from the alternate life forms out there is that they could be afraid of us, the dangerous and violent humans. Dr. Gordon Gallup, who works at the University of Albany, presents the view that the awful acts us humans take out against one another, not to mention our planet, might be keeping aliens at bay. If they can see what we are like as a species, why would they want to reveal their presence? Gallup calls us humans, quote, violent and dangerous, citing our many and constant conflicts as a reason to be too afraid to let us discover them. He says, 
If there is intelligent life elsewhere, they may view humans as extremely dangerous. We pose too great a risk and they do not want to be discovered. The point Gallup makes was published in the Journal of Astrobiology and he is not sugarcoating our awful impact on the world. He was clear that the impact of the planet and our own societies are far too destructive to appeal to extraterrestrial guests. His argument is that if there is intelligent life out there, they certainly are not likely to visit Earth. Gallup's idea that we are scaring aliens away is a new twist in the warnings we have been given before. Scientists, most notably the late great astrophysicist Stephen Hawking, famously had concerns should we ever interact with aliens. He agreed it was likely there was intelligent alien life out there, describing people who claimed we were the only intelligent life form as arrogant. He thought it was us who had a cause for concern, not them. He likened the arrival of aliens on Earth to the arrival of Christopher Columbus first making it to America, which, as we know, had a truly tragic impact upon the indigenous populations already in America. He believes any intelligent life that is far more evolved than us would have little concern in taking over our lands and home for their own gain, quite the opposite view to Gallup. Whether you believe it is us for whom an alien encounter would end badly or for the aliens themselves, both scientists seem to agree that we should not go looking for any alien buddies anytime soon. Swirling winds on Saturn trigger never-before-seen auroras Often when we are looking for something new in space, we think we need to look further and build equipment that will let us spy on worlds light-years upon light-years away from us. Though that is not always the case. A 2022 study has observed a new phenomenon right here in our very own solar system. It is the ringed planet itself, Saturn, that is the focus of this discovery with some colourful shows taking place that we are yet to see elsewhere. Saturn has been seen to have some auroras prompting stunning arrays of colour on the planet. Scientists have speculated that they may be the result of wind within the atmosphere of the planet, though the mechanics behind what is really happening remains unknown. Auroras are typically pushed into action from energised particles moving from the magnetosphere of a planet into the atmosphere of the planet. Whereas for us here on Earth, auroras are pushed by the charged particles from the Sun for Jupiter and Saturn, the charged particles are not from the Sun but rather volcanic eruptions on their respective moons. This was outlined in a statement from the W.M. Keck Observatory. This means we have a whole new type of aurora we are observing on Saturn that we will not see here on Earth as it is the planet's own atmospheric winds propelling the display. Tom Stallard, the co-author of the study and an associate professor in planetary astronomy at the University of Leicester, explained the search for different types of auroras takes us back to some of our very first theories about those on Earth. They spoke of the etymology of the name aurora, that here on Earth, where they are essentially powered from the sun, their name, Aurora Borealis, originates from the dawn of the northern wind. So, having found that on Saturn it is the winds in the atmosphere that drive the aurora, we have truly discovered an Aurora Borealis as the name describes the phenomenon. The team used the W.M. Keck Observatory, based in Mauna Kea, Hawaii, to observe the winds moving through the upper atmosphere of Saturn. They used the near-infrared spectrograph to measure emissions from this part of the atmosphere. This data was then further applied, allowing the team to map out the weather currents of the planet. The results seem to suggest that the weather system on Saturn is the result of the thermosphere, with winds in the ionosphere, the layer of the atmosphere with a high concentration of ions and free electrons. It is this combination of currents, winds and layers within the atmosphere that comes together to form these distinctive bright auroras. The statement has also suggested that these winds could be the reason Saturn has a rather varied and unpredictable rate of rotation. This has long eluded scientists, simply complicating the process of determining how long days last on Saturn. As we uncover more about the winds of this planet, we hope to unravel more and more information, from the length of each day to what is causing the auroras to occur. It is no surprise that there are endless things for us to discover in space.
there are countless areas of study and limitless opportunities to explore. This is just the beginning of our search into space. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.